Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Choose to Lose campaign. We're trying to beat the game on Legendary Armament Difficult with less soldiers, less equipment and uh, stronger enemies and of course less hit points. Uh, it is time for Operation Knife Hole. We're extracting yet another VIP that's potentially a dark VIP. Scientist and Intel might be a normal VIP to be honest because why would a dark VIP essentially work for us? So it wouldn't make any sense. So it's an actual normal uh, VIP mission and we're going to go in with the B team. I want to feed as many kills as possible to Jessica Rabbit because we want to level her up. Pri uh, Primus is going to join us again. Unfortunately quite yeah, deconstructed. He took uh, some damage and so far since we don't have healing the only way to actually get back up is repairing the sparks which is an interesting turn of event because it means in a nutshell that uh, it's also not viable to just go all sparks because the repair time um, will not uh, compensate for the amount of damage taken anyways we have the hazmas vest with us so i'm going to try to use uh, that one other than that, pretty similar loadout uh, than before. And we do not yet know if there are loss, but typically there are. So might as well get that ultrasonic lure again. I really liked it. So far it had worked well whenever loss appeared. Yeah. Well, whenever they appeared, yes. So that one, that one would be a good alternative. And other than that, I think we're ready to go. So let's jump right into the action and see how well we can do. Sky Ranger, squad green to deploy. One five target coordinates and good. We are starting together with the VIP, so we don't even need to get him out of there. Advent already knows we're here. And as always, we're starting without concealment. Here can begins to move up and that's where we're running into the first pack this should Physical not trigger well apparently the preview is not accurate Okay, we can deal with them. Not a huge problem. Grappling. Let's take the high ground. And we do have holo targeting, so this here should work reasonably well. I'm trusting you here. Moving up. Targeting the Archon. That's a good one. Time for some cooldowns. Overdrive to begin with. Nice. So that is some uh, that is some really really good damage. 100% hit and another 99% shot. I was off by a few percentage points. My weapon is nearly depleted. Okay, so Zukuger would hand over a couple of actions as well. We can take out that one Spectre. Hmm. 
our gun unfortunately does just not deal enough damage in order to kill the Archon, elsewise it would be a perfect setup. Good, moving up. Yeah, we originally wanted to feed kills to Jessica here. Turns out that isn't as simple as I would have wanted. We can move all the way up here and we would be flanking. Gotta be careful with uh, with not moving too deep into the enemy territory. This here is just crowd control for now. Good. Starting. That's not going to be enough damage. 7 to 9. Still not enough to effectively kill the enemy. So we're just going to leave him. Tactical analysis prevents them from doing something completely stupid. Position compromised. We heard. The clicks of a sectopod, maybe an Andromedon, not sure yet. 99%. Might as well move here and make it 100. Could also move over here and hit them. Taking the high ground. There is a chance to hex something. Always checking that first. Intel. Well, Intel isn't bad. We could use that. But I'm not going to take any greedy play. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Unless we're making the timer. Everything else is also good. So 10 points of damage. Plus, he's marked. Moving up here, which should not trigger anything. And holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Alright. Setting the guy up for a potential kill. And Jessica will get the kill. Good. Sandman is a post scout ahead. There is nowhere to hide. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. I go where I am needed. Is that a hive queen? Wow. Let's move already. Back online. That's the type of enemy that you typically don't want to run into like casually. Maybe Chrysalid Prime, who knows. Okay. Their clumsy patrol is moving. More enemies ahead. Chrysalid King. Oh, 
shit. What does a chrysalid king do? Except reign supreme. Placing explosive. We're going to find out. Currently. So there is a bit. There is a bit of armor removal. And guess what? We got a fight at our hands. Gotta be careful with those two. Chrysalid King. Let's set this bad boy up for some solid kills. Don't tell me he has uh, he he has the ruler reaction. That would absolutely suck. Got a frost bomb if that's needed, which potentially should work on him. I guess. Moving up. Are we going to kill? Is it possible to kill him in one go, or do we need that extra security? I'm not sure. Was not good. We potentially will need that extra security. Together, we are strong. Right. Come on, let's nail this guy. Can't be that difficult. Good. We're reconcealing. That gives us a bonus and extra crit chance. I'm busted. Gonna need to reload soon. Good. For what it's worth, we can kill this guy. Don't tell me he's exploding and additional chrysalids are spawning or something. If I were to design XCOM enemies, they would be fearsome. No one would potentially like to play against them. But that would be cool, like in almost a hive in itself. It's exploding and it will spawn additional chrysalids. Good. Chrysalid King. I am surprised by the variety of enemies in the mid game, so that is really good at the beginning. Uh, my verdict on ABA was that it just offered kind of a few moderate changes. But I must say, I have since kind of rethought uh, that approach and I actually think that uh, they did quite well specifically the amount of different vipers and different mutants is a welcome change Back in. Good, so there is another pod right over there. And unfortunately these guys are standing in the way, so Enemy I destroyed. 
actually need to uh, kill all of them. There's a chance that we're going to miss, of course. Good, moving up. Alright, luckily the shotgun now deals quite a bit of damage and the crits for like 14 and 16 are pretty devastating. Advanced Sergeant, let's get him down. More like advanced shotgun to the face. Moving up. Nope, we're not going for the dasher. Combat effectiveness goes down without ammo. Good, moving over. Let's kill the officer, which kind of in invalidates uh, the lure from uh, from the beginning, but I'm still okay with it. Ready to engage. Good, reloading. Get it together. Time to hit the dasher. And I think with the teamwork, we should be good to go. I like to keep us in concealment for now. Okay, more losses are going to come our merry way. But that will be okay. Just reload. I should save the lure for a bit later. As it would be nice to see them essentially move move up on the advents that are currently standing on the extraction zone. Okay, so first things first, got to reload. And Zirkim is going to go to town with each and every one of them. I'm looking forward to the Between the Eye mod, because uh, then Jessica Jones will no longer need to fear anything. She can just stand there and essentially kill all of them right away. Good. Sandman. Moving, out. Moving over. Andromedon, normal Andromedon, and heavy Lancer. Okay. Good, well. Generally speaking, Rolling we might out. want to take that high ground over there. Moving to designated position. Jessica can switch over and with a simple grappling hook up. move up here Good to go. Got it covered. 
Zirk um, can move up as well. We're down to 10 uh, turns, but I think we're making steady progress, so I don't want to hasten too much. We have two more packs that we need to go through. This one and the one at the landing zone. Moving in. And finally moving over here. I think we got another reload going. Watching comes naturally. Good. Come on. Get a bit closer. That might trigger an overwatch trap. Wonderful. Wonderful. Of course, not that we're missing, but the overwatch trap is good because we're getting a couple of extra shots against them. Okay, so what's the plan, Mr. Saiken? I think for starters, we're going to mark the Andromedon. That's a good one. Solid plan. Overdriving. And let's shred the Andromedon. Nice. Three points of shredding per shot. Fantastic. Oh, wow, okay. That's a two shot kill. Love it. And this eventually will even remove the cover. Hopefully, without exploding the car. Good. So we could come. Uh, hey, we're, uh, we could come protocol and deal a bit of damage. Siriki moves over. That could be a kill. Yeah, very nice. Seventy points of damage is. Pretty nutty. <laughs> What's our chance to shut down the Andromedon? Seventy-three. Yeah, I think we're just going to deal damage to it, and that'll be fine. Hundred percent. I think we're going to take Dead Eye. Kill confirmed. Uh, let's move over here. Well, out of fact, I would almost like to move over here. That would be too close to the last pack. I am at your service. The target is marked, an alien patrol. All right, a quad pack. No one will bar us. And they are just camping the camping the exit zone.
Okay. This looks like a perfect spot for an ultrasonic lure. Kind of something along the lines of this here. Okay, I like it. Good. First things first. Primos takes a an A protocol. And we gotta find that sweet sweet spot here. So now that the chosen, uh, that the oh, yeah. lost are all going to move over, purifier or assault. I think we're well. Hmm. more than one of them. For starters, I think we could hit both of them. Which would not be a bad start. That here would be a fantastic start as well. I think we're going to go for exactly that play. Moving over, just so that we're A, out of line of sight, and B, not uh, that we're not falling down. Alright, reloading. And this here would be... A nice little hit, unfortunately not enough damage so that both of them would fall down. That is really unfortunate. This here could remove the rest and maybe spawn yet another set of loss. You should kill the elite. Got him. Training ammo fast. Uh, let's just really go out of line of sight. Two percent and sixty six for the Guardian. You know what? Let's go for the Guardian because that could be a kill. Fantastic. Enemy eliminated. And we're using death from above to reload. Come get them. And Overwatch. I see everything. Uh, 
good. They are focusing on the loss as they should. We're removing the cover just like we should. And another lost swarm appears. Thanks to the ultrasonic lure, they are well uh, taken care of. So if I do understand the lure correctly, all of the loss should now move towards both of these targets. They don't need to be in the initial explosion of the lure. Uh, those guys are marked. Unfortunately, we have just been spotted out. Not 100% sure how, how the um, Reaper has been spotted out. But we'll just go with the flow. chance to hit that guy fantastic grappling over to here just to get that better angle and a hundred percent should be a kill. Enemy destroyed. Can we kill some more of the lost dashers? Yes, we can. Target neutralized. You might ask yourself, why would I help that poor schmuck? I tell you, there are plenty of lost to go around, so there's really no reason to let all of them live. Down. Good, Zirke moves up. There's the promotion I was hoping for. My life is in your hands. Let's just hide in the shadows for now. can we do high ground is always preferable so this might be a bit of a cleanup so we're going to leave the other two over there for him to deal with Gotta give credit to the amount of loss that are here. It's a lot of XP. And we're essentially setting this guy up for a kill. Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, no need to, to take a shot. Instead, what I would want to do is 
hit that enemy. There we go. Okay, fantastic. And he missed the very first shot, which is lamentable. Buddy, you're going to get swarmed. Swarmed. So. We're helping him to a degree with those overwatch shots. Uh, we had him in the lure as well. That's why they are always finding him. Interesting. Interesting. Good. I'm learning a couple of new things about the ultrasonic lure. To be entirely honest, I haven't used it that often before. It's a great item if you do have loss in your map and if you have a permanent dark event with loss it becomes a nice crowd controlling item because those um, loss essentially act as your mimic beacon. Did we just got a promotion? I think we did. Good, that's one down. And another one down. Efficiency is my speciality. I'll be down now let's try to hit this guy really well. Fantastic. Good, moving over, and this should potentially kill him. Understood. Moving out. Good, moving into an elevated position. Good. As for you guys, we still got the lure on us. I want to deal with that the entire time. And we're leaving. Good. We have three. Uh, we have three loss left over. Let's do this. On Overwatch. Overwatch. And we should be pretty much okay killing them, then taking the loot and leaving. Plenty of turns. And with loss on every mission, I think the ultrasonic lure will become our new mimic beacon, sort of. It's not a bad item, and it has two charges. See, that's the beauty of um, uh, of using niche items. All of a sudden, you kind of find yourself in that situation where items that were previously just bad. You all of a sudden start to think, well, they might be not as bad as I always thought. Hmm. 
Maybe I've just not used them correctly, for instance. Good. That loss is down. I need ammo. We're going to take the loot and everybody else can now also leave. Barn South Loader is good. I was low-key hoping for a couple of Elarium cores. This unit is relatively agile. Running! One more turn, and then we can grapple up. Scanning. Yep, no more enemies. That means everybody here can just move to the exit. Good. Good copy. Moving on target. There we go. And finally our spark. And guess what? With overdrive, we can even reach the evac zone right away. Okay, my computer decided to really take a long time to illustrate that, so we're fast forwarding. Good, let's get everybody out of here, and I think we got two promotions, if I'm not mistaken. Just a tiny bit of damage. Yeah. Okie Let's see. Yep, we got three promotions even. Jessica Jones finally got her promotion. Steady hands would be fantastic, but we're going to go with aim. Not bad either. <laughs> we got volatile mix for some extra damage, and Zirkim gets blade storm. Really doesn't fit into the rest of the build. Too bad. Okay. Well, we got a couple of captains, guys, so our second team is ready to mingle. Hello. An advanced outloader and another scientist. Plus 107 intel, which is fantastic. Almost makes me wonder if we want to look at the black market again. That's a fantastic option. We definitely need both Elarium and Alloy, so I potentially will even do that. Let's go to the black market and then we're going to go there. Good. In terms of buying, superior ag agility, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, 22 dodge. We got enough intel, so that would be possible. One of my favorite PCSs. In terms of selling, sell a couple of uh, the officer corpses, maybe one Viper corpse. Need the rest for combat medicine. And I think we want to continue making contact and afterwards we're going for that X. Well, on the other hand, we're requiring some alloys right away. Market is open. So we could get some alloys and that will give, give us a faster armor research. I think we can do that. Good. We're still good on the overall intel, and that will allow us, after the sector port breakdown, to go for the armor research. Might as well, by thinking about it, research is proceeding as change the research directly into powered armor. 
16 days is not the worst and and we will f we would finally be able to get war suits and a couple of other neat I items see why you would consider redirecting our efforts commander we'll get to work on the new project right away good let's make contact for the web I think that that was worthwhile. We can still get the remaining Alarium and the remaining Alloys, but I want to be able to infiltrate. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Exactly We're because they are making down, quite a bit of progress now. We had some wounded soldiers required. We now got between the eyes, so at the end of this month, rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. That will allow us uh, to no longer fear the losts. And if they are on every mission, we do have Between the Eyes and we do have an ultrasonic lure. That's they are actually helping us more than they are uh, than they are annoying. This was the next one. Problem is, Quick Figure is wounded for eight days. What does that mean? Ah, that is cutting it short. Can we do something for eight days? Fourteen days and a bit of dodge. The other option is to take our skirmisher and let him get the 10 dodge. It's not wasted on him and he will be a frontline fighter regardless. So might as well give him that extra, uh, that extra dodge. And we'll eventually give Quick Feet the, the option to catch up. There will be more missions uh, with plus dodge, but for now I would really like to do that and potentially then hunt the Chosen Part 2 so that we are setting up the next, uh, the next Chosen. Good, promoting the soldier here. Rapid fire is definitely the go-to skill, but we would uh, take Reaper in that case. Not bad either for cleanup since we potentially, well, we would have Serial um, because Fanfire is better than Serial. So the Sniper could clean up as well. However, Reaper is, a, together with the um, Katana, is a decent cleanup tool for just like moving around and essentially killing everything. 41 dodge is great. That's a good start. With a bit more investment, we could get it to 100. In terms of overall resources, we're fine. Let's just check the training center real quick. Yeah, we got all of them. There's one more potential ability locked here for Jessica. And Jessica needs to get the last level um, likely with the uh, covered ops mission a job on her own. Together, it's all we've got. So we that could also be one of around. the next missions, but I'm okay with going in uh, with those six. So basically in eight days when the covert action is over and the wounding um, part is over, then it's a good time to um, to go into the facility. We got quite a few weapon upgrades. In the meantime, I think we're... In the meantime, I think we're going to head into into that facility. So, bravely wounded. Did you really repair the other spark first? Well, f you. That 
that is unnecessary. Out of curiosity, did we ever upgrade the armor of the Spark? Yes, we did. Okay. Yeah, we could use beam weapon upgrades, that would be helpful. And a powered shadow keeper would uh, be uh, absolutely helpful as well. I'd like to get a better look at that rifle the chosen hunter uses. The chosen warlock is hard at work for Good, I think we're going to end uh, the session here because the next mission would be invading exactly that facility. It would be potentially the last time that the B team is taking all of the weapons. Um, once the A team has has formed, I mentioned it in a couple of episodes beforehand, I will lock the main equipment up here and we're going to go with real niche equipment and not with the unique weapons on most of the B team. Next up we would have Jessica. Well, is she? Does it even make sense for her to be in that mission? Or would it be uh, more sensible just to wait for a promotion mission with her? I think the latter makes more sense, as it takes such a long time from Major to Colonel. So might as well take Lockdown, Grenadier Ranger Specialist and Reaper. And we're going to continue with Primus because we need experience and eventually want to get him to the highest rank. So, yeah, that's going to be our team. The Berserker Queen will be there, so we got to think about how we're dealing with her. Nice Overwatch trap might be the right way to go. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a co uh, like and a comment down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.